Hi everyone. This lesson is about relative clauses. There are two types of relative clauses, defining and non-defining. A defining relative clause is used to give essential information about someone or something. Information that we need in order to understand the main clause or what or who is being referred to. A defining relative clause usually comes immediately after the noun it describes. Who, that, which, whose, and whom are relative pronouns often used to introduce the defining relative clause. Look at the example. These are the students who won the national math tournament. In this example, the defining relative clause describes important information about the main clause to be sure to understand the main clause and tell us the students we are talking about. These are the students is a correct sentence, but the meaning is not there. So, we use the defining relative clause to be sure which students we are talking about. Not every student won the National Math Tournament, and we are only talking about the students who did. Let's look at one more example. A teacher is someone who works in a school. In this sentence, the relative clause who works in the school is important information that describes the teacher. We can also use other relative pronouns, such as where and when, to describe a place or time. Look at these examples. The school community club is where we meet every week. You will need to decide on a major when you graduate from school. In these examples, the relative clause is important to understanding that the school community club is the place we meet every week and by the time you graduate, you will need to decide a major. So, relative clauses give important information about a person, place, time, or thing in order to better understand the main clause. Now, we will review non-defining relative clauses. We use non-defining relative clauses to give extra information about a person, place, time, or thing. It is not necessary or important information to understand who or what is being referred to. We use the same relative pronouns to introduce non-defining clauses, but we add a comma at the beginning and the end of the clause. Let's look at these examples. Sally, who is in the same class as my sister, is going to attend a college in London next year. Tamara, who celebrated her birthday last week, is a leader. In college, where your schedules are more flexible, you have more time for extracurricular activities. In these examples, the information in the non-defining relative clause is not necessary or important information. Sally is clearly identified. Who is in the same class as my sister is extra information. Tamara is clearly identified. Who celebrated her birthday last week is extra information. Finally, college is the place that is clearly identified to have more time for extracurricular activities. Where your schedules are more flexible is extra 
information. Did you notice the commas between the clauses? In non-defining relative clauses, commas are important. Non-defining relative clauses always have commas between them and the main clause. Finally, look at this sentence. Washington, D.C., which that is the capital of the USA, is a populated city. What did you notice about this sentence? You guessed it. It has a non-defining relative clause. Which is the capital of the USA is extra information. Washington, D.C. already has the identity in its name. Furthermore, did you notice which and that are options? So, what's the correct option? The non-defining relative clause is correct with which and not that. Pay attention. That is not used in a non-defining relative clause. The relative pronoun that is only used in a defining relative clause. I hope this lesson has helped you have a better understanding about relative clauses. Now, let's practice.